Hey guys, welcome. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for joining me. So today's reading is the person on your mind. What are they thinking about you? What are their thoughts on you at the moment? All right. So we have three groups. The first group is the blue appetite crystal. The second group is the aquamarine crystal. And the third group is the blue calcite. Okay. So group one, two, and three. If you do need to take a moment to choose your group, go ahead. Um, but I will see you in your reading. Hey, welcome. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for joining me. If you've chosen the first group, the blue appetite, then this reading is for you. All right. So... The person on your mind, what are they thinking about you? We have the Knight of Pentacles upright and we have the Moon in reverse. That's funny, the page of pentacles. So the person you're asking about, it feels like they think you have the patience of a saint. Um, both of them and other people and just other like situations in your life, maybe you just have patience in general. It's because they kind of maybe think you're really chill or the way you handle situations is, you know, with patience, with you know, calmness as well. They could think that they're too boring for you, though. Like, they could think that they don't have enough going on for them. But they do think that you're stable they think that you're really sensible as well they do think you're quite reserved and conservative this could be more so when it comes to them as opposed to in general or maybe like the last time you guys saw each other you were more laid back or more reserved Um, but they do think you're ambitious as well. But this may or may not be about work. But if you guys are ambitious when it comes to work, then that's definitely what it's talking about. But it could definitely be referring to other areas of your life too. They do think you can be stubborn at times. They do think that life may have stalled for you a bit. But not in a way like... I don't know, it's more like in a way where you're stable, you're content and, um, you know, yeah, just content with what you have or with where you're at, even though, you know, in that perspective, they could perceive it as, you know, being stored. But it doesn't feel like it's in a negative way, though, just to, like, <laughs> make that clear. They do think you can be outgoing. They could think you come across well in public or in social situations. They do think you are really wise, intelligent as well. They think that you aren't materialistic and this could be whether you guys are materialistic or not like if you are, if you do like material things, for example, like maybe you're not, you know, like OTT about it. Maybe you kind of just do it for yourself as opposed to doing it, doing it for other people. And um, if you aren't materialistic, then, you know, that could be how they perceive you in general. Like you don't really care for material stuff. But they do think you're quite grown and mature in general and 
they think you do really care about your financial stability as well like they do think this is something you are kind of working hard towards but they could feel like it's moving slowly for you or, or moving at like a slow and steady kind of pace when it comes to your financial stability They think you're going to move forward and excel in life regardless of whether things are moving slowly at the moment for you or not, in their perspective anyway. And when I say in their perspective, I mean like them perceiving things as moving slowly for you. You know, that could may or may not be the case for you guys, you know, but that's how they may see it. They do think you're generous. They think that they can trust you and that they can trust you to be honest. They do think you're quite transparent for the most part as well. Like you rarely hide stuff or, you know, keep secrets. At the same time though, they can perceive you as like private about certain things, but maybe you're quite transparent about being private about certain things you know um, but for the most part they do perceive you as quite just honest and maybe straightforward as well they do think you're quite decisive as well there is a part of them though that thinks you are confusing what they find confusing about you could be very different for everyone but it feels like maybe you would know what they may find confusing about you. Let me see. I don't know, I can't get a specific message on why they may find you confusing. But anyways, um, they do think that you could lie to yourself at times, possibly about being overwhelmed or, you know, maybe being quite sensitive. Let me see. Yeah. This could be something you are more aware of as well. They do think you can be insecure at times, but they do think you have grown a lot. They do think you've overcome certain bar barriers or challenges like fear, anxiety, maybe mental health or other barriers that you could be aware of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have ambitious again i think that came up earlier didn't it so they do think you are quite ambitious or very ambitious since it came up twice <laughs> bad temper do they think you have a bad temper Maybe some of you had a bad temper in the past and they feel like this is something that you've really worked on. Um, I know the message of you overcoming certain barriers uh, did come up before. So that could be one of the barriers in terms of maybe getting angry um, quite quickly. But they definitely think you are more four of pentacles. It's like they think you're more stable, controlled right now. So yeah, this feels like something for the majority of you that they think that's something that you've worked on. Or you have it under control, you know. We also have modern. 
so they think you're quite modern and i don't know in which way this could be referring like this could be your values this could be maybe your home the way you live your life or it could be you know your work i don't know the way you dress the way you think i don't know <laughs> but they do think you are quite modern in some way so we have your imperfections are perfection what are they thinking about you Right, so for some of you they do think they don't think sorry you have a lot of flaws or it's like if you do have some flaws and this may not be talking about physical stuff um but more like mental stuff like if there are some flaws they do think you are working on it like they think you're aware of it A lot of earth energy keeps falling out for this group. They do think you're quite down to earth, actually. They do think you're quite hardworking, too. So they think that they care about you too much or in the past that they cared about you too much. And they think by caring about you too much, it may have caused problems. And these could be problems you're unaware of. So they do think you are sexy, they do think you are attractive. Do you have more from this? They think you have a lot of endearing qualities and this doesn't have to be only about looks. So if you resonate with this message, then it's probably for you. But for some of you, they think that it's hard to, like, even if you both have made amends, if even if you both have forgiven each other, um, like, this could be related to the past as well, maybe something more recently. But they feel like even though you guys have made amends, that it would be hard or that it is hard to fully move on like kind of wipe the slate clean they feel like it will still you know like what happened will still be there you know if that makes sense So we have bridge, stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. So they actually think it has been hard to connect with you.
like to form a bridge maybe to again like maybe to make amends or to completely forgive and kind of be like how we used to be you know if that makes sense but um it's almost like they could think that like the damage is done like even if we're in a good space We also have purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. So that's something that they think you're doing. They do think you are, you know, again, like they do think you are growing. They do think you are changing. Because some of you, I mean, it could be in a more like health kind of way but for others yeah it could be in a health way whether it's mental health or physical health emotional health they do think you are changing they do think you are trying to heal and kind of just like move on not move on i don't know if move on is the right word but like make better choices make healthier choices and finally we have Deal with the unexpected. So they actually think you are quite good at dealing with challenges, that you are good at dealing with things that are unexpected. But that's all that's coming through for this group. I do hope it could be helpful, make sense, resonate and all that stuff. But I'm wishing you the best, all right? Take care. Hey, welcome. Hope you're doing good. If you've chosen the second group, the Aquamarine, then this reading may be for you, all right? So the person on your mind, what have they been thinking about you at the moment? You have the Hierophant, two of wands, both upright. All right, I know this isn't going to be for everyone, but if this is relevant to you, for some of you, they do think about marrying you. Or they think about what married life would be like with you, even if like that's not really a possibility. Um, but yeah, please only take that if it resonates. But if you guys are seeing each other in a serious way, then that's something that they could think about. Um, but anyway, for, for, um, for all of you, I guess, they do uh, think you're a balanced person. And they do think about how they may need that in their life. Like, whether this, you're asking about a friend, acquaintance, um, romantic situation, family. But they do think that they need your balancedness <laughs> in their life. They may not think you're religious, uh, with the Hierophant being there. But they do think you are extremely spiritual. They do think you're traditional with traditional views. They think that you have a lot of support. Do they think you need a lot? And they may think you need a lot of support as well. But they could think you are surrounded by good people or surrounded by a good support system or a good community or like a part of a good community or something like that. For some reason though, they think that they need to be cautious with you. Almost like they need to be a little bit standoffish. They do think you are laid back and prefer to be low key, either in general or at the moment. But it feels like it's more likely pertaining to now, like you're more low key right now. Because it doesn't really feel like they kind of see you as low key in general, though. They think that you aren't wanting to have fun right now. They could think you are in a more serious energy. So 
the person you're asking about, they think that you want to get married. If you are already married though, they could feel like your marriage is like a, a good one, like you're content in um, your marriage. They do think of you as kind and nurturing. They think you're very smart and wise as well. They definitely think you are a leader, a good one at that. They definitely think you handle change well. And they also think that you've changed them. Or you change their, that was clarified by the Ace of Swords. So like maybe you change their perspective, that you change their mind on something. So with the sun coming out, this could definitely be in a positive way that you've changed their mind. They definitely think you have strong ethics for which like the most part they agree with. Like they think you have good morals as well. So they do think you're quite sexy or you're, you're quite attractive. And they also think you have options. But this may not be directly related to relationships, although for some of you it can be. But they feel like you have options when it comes to maybe friends, going out, socialising or work or opportunities. They just think you have options, you know, that you're not limited. And they do think that they have a lot of respect for you. They could be worried that they are acting too withdrawn with you though. And they could be worried that you think they've abandoned you a little as well. I mean, for some of you, maybe abandon could be too strong of a word, um, but something along those lines. And not for everyone here, but they do think the grass is greener on the other side and they're exploring their options. It feels like they don't want to put all their bets on you or put all their eggs in your basket. They could think you're quite bored right now as well. So we have four more. What are they thinking about you? Hmm. So they could think you are quite serious right now. They could think you're both treating each other formally. Wait, hold on. But they may like that your connection is formal at the moment, though. So we also have pretentious. Let me see. So it doesn't feel like they think you're pretentious.
So for some of you, please only take this if it resonates, but they could think that you are a part of something that is a bit pretentious, in their opinion anyway. Or maybe like some of the people you're around, clarified by the Ten of Cups, maybe a community you're a part of. We also have neutral. So they think things between you both are quite neutral, like playing it safe, playing it safe. You know, again, quite formal. They could also think you're trying to remain quite neutral when it comes to them. Like you're not trying to be too decisive. And again, like there was that message about not putting all the eggs in one basket and not kind of like placing all your bets. So this could be referring to like, they think you're doing that when it comes to them, like keeping your options open and they could feel like they're doing that when it comes to you. So we also have, we need to talk. So they do think you both need to talk, maybe talk more, more often. What they want to talk to you about, though, could be quite specific. It could be about your relationship with someone else that they want to talk to you about, but that's not for everyone. We also have, are you ashamed of me? Okay, so again, like, please only take this if it fits of your situation and the person you're asking about. But they could think that you could be not ashamed of them, like, in a, as a whole, but maybe in specific situations. Like, maybe, uh, you know, ashamed to go out with them or be seen with them in certain, you know, places or environments. So a nice little house, two kids and a dog. So they think you're either already very stable or they think that's something that you really want. I know the message of them thinking that you wanted to get married came up earlier. So that this could be something that they think you're trying to manifest or something that you really want. If this is something you already have, then they think that you've, um, you've gotten something that you wanted. So we also have, I want to break our energetic bonds. So for a lot of you here, it feels like they're unsure about developing a stronger bond with you. They could think it won't work. We also have, I can't be there for you the way I want to be or the way you need me to be. So 
So they could if they could think that you they can't be what you want them to be, or they think that they can't be there for you. For some of you, they could think that you want them to be something they're not. We also have pursue your true wealth. So they think you are pursuing what means, like what matters most to you. They think you're focused on what matters most to you as well. We have divine intervention. So they do think that there are things, maybe people interfering or intervening when it comes to your relationship and connection with each other. But at the same time, they kind of think it is what it is, you know? And finally, we have beyond the ego. Surrender to the flow of life. So they, when it comes to you and their relationship with you, they think that they kind of just need to let it go of the flow. Like what will be, will be, you know? Like they think they can't be too focused on it. They can't be too obsessed about it. And they kind of like need to let things flow and happen naturally. Yeah, to stop overthinking maybe as well. But that is all I have for this group. I do hope it can be helpful and resonate and make sense. But I'm wishing you all the best, all right? Take care. Hey, welcome. Who's chosen the third group of Blue Calcite? And this reading could be for you, all right? So the person on your mind... What are they thinking about you right now at the moment? So we have the strength card upright, queen of wands in reverse. So for some of you here, they do think you are very protective over someone in your life. Um, like this snake protecting the eggs, her eggs. But the person on your mind, they, they think you're very sexy, that you're very passionate as well. They do think you can be quite chaotic or things in your life are quite chaotic. Maybe you being busy or the things that you just have got, you know, going on right now. But they quite like that about you, that you can be quite chaotic or that you're up and down or that you're busy, you know, they, they like that energy from you. They do think you're really affectionate and, you know, I guess it depends on what kind of relationship you have with the person you're asking about. But this is something that they could just imagine, like they could imagine you being very affectionate, um, maybe because they see you being affectionate with other people in your life, like if you aren't close with them. But if you are close with them and you are quite affectionate about, with them, then they really like this about you. They love that you are affectionate. Um, they could think that they're much more attracted to you than you are to them. They do feel quite protective. 
sorry about that they do feel quite protective over you as well again like the like the queen of wands protecting her eggs like they do feel very protective over you they do think you need someone to look after you as well they do think you're confident and they love the confidence you have in yourself they think you're hard working and very capable as well and they really admire you So they do think you're brave and courageous, but they could also find you slightly intimidating for some reason. Um, they do th think you have a lot going for yourself. And honestly, uh, they do think about doing a lot of sexy stuff with you as well. <coughs> <coughs> they think about taming you a little bit, like having some control over you they don't think about being controlling with you though but just having some form of control over you i don't know in which way that could be but um they do think about how much love and maybe i don't know if it's going to be love for everyone but for some of you they do think about how much love they have for you for some of you it could be like how much admiration or just you know passion or likeness i have for you They do think you have a lot going on and they do think you're busy a lot of the time too and they imagine that you might be um, a little burnt out. Maybe this is something they know for a fact, again, like if you guys are already close or already in a relationship, but for some of you, they could be, you know, on the outside looking in and kind of thinking that, you know, you could be very drained or tired, burnt out, you know. So they do think you need to be more assertive when it comes to them or they would just really like you to be like more like direct, like aggressive, more forthcoming when it comes to them. They could think you are a bit more introverted when it comes to them. It doesn't really think they perceive you as introverted in general though. They kind of just think there's a lot more to you than, than what they know so far what, than, or what they see so far and they kind of just want to know more. They think there's a lot more to you that they need to know, you know? They do think you get a lot of attention they do think you are sensitive but they really like that about you they have a lot of empathy for you this person that you're asking about but they could think you're hard to approach um for some of you they think that you aren't really career motivated but again they could like that you're more chilled or not too focused on that kind of stuff they do think you can be irritable <laughs> um but yeah, they could also think you aren't very outgoing, or at least not what they've managed to see. Or like you could be outgoing, but just more low-key, if that makes sense. If any of you here are parents, though, they do think you are a good one. So we have questioning. So they do think you are quite cautious when it comes to them. Oh, God, I felt a bit dizzy there for a second. You know, you just feel like dizzy, like you're about to throw up. Anyways, okay. One second. For some of you, they could think you're unwell.
for some of you uh, they could think you ask a lot of questions as opposed to being cautious of them So we have naughty, like they do think about, they have a lot of naughty thoughts about you. We also have gentle. So they do think about being quite gentle with you, being quite nurturing and soft when, when it comes to you. Like they could think your life is hard enough as it is as it is, or you have to be quite aggressive in certain areas of your life. So they kind of just want to treat you with this softness and this gentleness this, or it's something they think about at least, you know. So we have I deserve better. So they definitely think you deserve better. They could think you have been in a, in a lot of emotional or just difficult situations. Or this could be about a, a relationship or a past relationship. We also have, I've done things I'm not proud of. So for some of you, when it comes to you, they could think that they have done things that they're not proud of. They do think about making amends. Uh, the Six of Swords came out and the Death card came out to clarify. So they could definitely want to change. Um, change themselves. Maybe change themselves. Feels like they want to do something that would make you more proud of them or kind of see them in a different light like especially if you know especially if you know that they could perceive you i mean you could perceive them sorry and I, I don't know if a negative way is the right what the right way to phrase it but yeah we have i don't i want you now i don't want to wait anymore <laughs> that was clarified by the temperance card so they could think that they have been very patient you know with you with the relationship thus far but they they do want some movement you know you also have you have the qualities i look for in a partner so yeah you know i mean that came out before when we was reading just the tarot cards but they do think you have a lot of endearing qualities like a lot of qualities that they really like that they think that they would really connect with we also have why so serious So they do think you are more serious when it comes to them, like, um, like just n not serious as in like wanting something serious with them, but serious as in like frowny face, you know, like, yeah, like side eyeing them a little bit. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to put it in words properly, but yeah. So yeah, they could think you're not happy with them. Express your true feelings. So they definitely feel like they need to express their true feelings when it comes to you. Put it all out on the table. Be very transparent. We also have value your self-worth. So they definitely think you value yourself, your self-worth. They think you know what you want. And 
and you know because they think of you as valuing your self-worth they think that they have to approach you in a way where it's like okay i won't mistreat this person or i need to kind of hold myself to like better standards and stuff like that and finally we have simple pleasures So they could think that you enjoy the simple things in life, which is something that they really like about you. Like they think you're able to see beauty in a lot of different things and like the simplest things that's uh, like that maybe other people may take for granted or that they may take for granted. But yeah, that's all that's coming out though. For those of you who chose this group, I really do hope it can resonate and be helpful. I'm wishing you the best, alright? Take care.